as Mother Teresa said, if you judge people, you have no time to love them. Love is inclusive, not exclusive. We're taking up our swords today, starting at Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name for the lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations we pick it up from psalm 102 verses 12 to 28 But you, O Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. The very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem when the peoples and the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord. In the course of my life, he broke my strength. He cut short my days. So I said, do not take me away, O my God, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through all generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them and they will be discarded. But you remain the same and your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence. Their descendants will be established before you. Taking it from Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse nor will he harbor his anger forever he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our inequities for as high as the heavens are above the earth so great is his love for those who fear him as far as the east is from the west so far has removed our transgressions from us as far the 
has compassion on his children. So the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Good day, good day. This is Regina Besson from the Healing One Ministry because he's the one that heals Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior indeed. It is done to the perfect will of our Father, Abba Yahweh, Elohim El Shaddai Adonai. It is done. It is finished. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Be careful. Be careful where you go. Least you be defiled. It takes us such a long hard road to purify our souls and find rest and peace. We belong with others who have the truth and want to walk in it. By stepping out of the place that the Lord wants us to be in, we lay ourselves open to be defiled and then we feel unclean with people who have no love or respect for our Lord Jesus. All we do is go backwards and have to go through cleansing again. It is better to be very careful of where we go and with whom. Let them know that we stand for what we stand for and be sure we gain respect before we expect to receive it. It was by this walk and this talk that Jesus left us the way to life. We have your word, the Bible. We have guidelines all laid out for us, Abba. Everything that we want to know is in your word. You have covered everything in life. To have your will and word is a blessing, Lord. It is so sweet when we start to read your word and all the wisdom of how man lives, loves, sins. Your word is such a great instruction because it is before and after and such truth. You made us God so you know more than anyone that if we do this, then that will be the consequence. The more we read your word, the sweeter it becomes. The more we read your word, the more we want to read such wonderful words of wisdom and such wonderful advice. Teach us to understand your word, Father. Open up the scriptures for us, God of revelation, that we can feast at your table, Father. We hunger after your word and can never be satisfied. As the hunger grows, the more we read and comprehend and understand all the wonder. You are because you were there before and will be there after life. Bitterness. There is no room in anyone's life for bitterness. It is unwanted baggage that will weigh us down until it will be too heavy to carry. Anything that is too heavy to carry will make us stand still and slowly sink into the deep murray clay of unforgiveness. Bitterness is holding fast onto hurts and disappointments, harboring them in our very souls and watering them with self-pity. Bitterness will slowly eat away at the very fiber of our beings, causing us ill health, pain and suffering 
we can add torment in there as well. It will make us a very unloving and unloved person, cast onto our own altar of sacrifice. We will sacrifice all the love and compassion others offer us to help to heal us and make us whole again. Stand up and look at ourselves. Let us stand up and look at ourselves, how miserable we have made ourselves to ourselves and before others. Stand right now. Let go. Let go of all our hate, unforgiveness, self-righteousness and self-pity. Slowly, slowly deal with each one of life's hurts and disappointments. Feel Jesus' hands sliding round each one of those unjust deeds that were done to us, slowly pulling them out of the very depths of our being and healing our torn and tattered souls. How much lighter do we feel as we release each one until they are gone, 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 and we are set free, free indeed. When we are free, we will be lighter in spirit. All the remorse will be gone and we will be able to fly like eagles. Peaceful, loving and forgiving, how your life will change as you make a right turn away from bitterness, never turning back to self-destruction, but going forward to joy, love and peace. Bondage. What is bondage? Why do we get into bondage? There are so many reasons, but the reality of it is that we are actually doing something against our will against the leading of the Holy Spirit. But because we become reliant on someone or something and need to be with them or it, even if we know that we are not walking in truth and righteousness and are not living for Jesus and will take up the places that we know the Lord would not want us to be, we still go. The trouble with a situation like this is that we actually take ourselves out of the covering of God to walk unprotected by the divine covering of the Holy Spirit lays us open to all sorts of consequences. Then it is not to ask the reason why if something goes wrong. Be brave and strong. Break the ties of bondage in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. It is done. It is finished. The perfect will of the Father. In Jesus' name, we are set free, free indeed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Break any yoke of bondage. Abba Father, as we pray and we close the doors to all bad relationships, bad habits, bad cycles, bad things, bad people, bad. Let it go, let it go, let it flow so that we can grow to glow. Close the door to all bad. God will give us the strength and the courage for this. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We will soar like eagles on the wings of freedom. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Changed into my image. I love you with a pure love. I am God. I love you with my grace. This is the only way I can love you because you are flesh and I am spirit and the flesh always wars against the spirit. Yes, you are changed into my image through all the trials and testing and I have found you worthy of my love. 
but my love is unconditional but my favor is not in the beginning of your walk with me it was but not now not after time has passed in my kingdom walk on this narrow road you are traveling look not behind for behind are many things and many friends you have lost because of me walk on the road is not easy many are tired and weary but walk on i will refresh you and give you a crown of glory when you pass through the gates of heaven childishness the anguish the pain the helplessness the envy when everyone around you is being blessed with everything after all it is a gift from god but we once once of itself Abba Father, we just release that into the power of your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Cleansing. Only when you go down to the plaster on a wall can you make that wall beautiful when you paint it. It has to be cleaned and scraped and properly prepared to lay a good foundation. Then and only then can you paint it and make it beautiful. So we are with our sinful nature. We have to go down to the depth of our souls to cleanse and purify it for the soul to come in line and be in alignment with the spirit of god for the true beauty of the spirit to manifest itself in our lives for the spirit of the lord to show itself in our renegated nature for a quiet but strong humble peaceful and rest spirit to shine forth in a tried and trusted man of God to shine forth as a thing of beauty which is a joy forever color what is color Lord surely you are all the same inside we love the same feel the same emotions does life's hardships change no does pain and suffering change no we all have to eat sleep and live our lives as best we can how much better a life we can live if we remember that we are brothers and sisters in the Lord how much stronger we could all become if we had a common bond our Lord Jesus how he would love to join us all in prayer with him as brothers in Christ father make us mold us together with your perfect love that we can all love you and serve you as one flesh one heart one disciple of your gospel the gospel of god our father in heaven where we are all the same judged the same rewarded the same by the walk we walked in him with one another Abba Father, we just come before you, we ask you for unity, Abba Father. We ask you for cleansing, we ask you for purification and consecration, Abba Father. Let your will be done on earth as it is in the third heaven. Your will be done, your perfect will be done in our lives, Abba Father. It is done, it is finished. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit, Spirit of truth. We walk in spirit and truth. Remember, brothers and sisters, it is done. It is finished. Complete, perfectly completed to the perfect will of our father coming through his son jesus christ the only way to the father through his son jesus christ cover us with the blood of the lamb abba father thank you lord jesus for your love sacrifice abba father so shall it be so be it amen